and welcome to Jen's Ink Spot. Today I want to share with you how to put together the mortar board and fringe and tassel from the new die sets from Frantic Stamper. This is the die set for the mortar board. You get three pieces. So I have already cut the pieces here and then I have gone ahead and assembled one already. So here it is assembled. I used um, dimensional tape on this little knob and I'll show you why in a second. And then I also used dimensional tape under, on, under this piece so that it would stand out. Here's the back of it. I have this little piece there just so that when I put it on my card it's still sticky. Now the reason that I put this up on a foam dot is because here's the card I made to share with you. And I wrapped my tassel around that piece and it's easy to stay on if this is on foam tape. Now I also made this particular one so that it can come off if they want to use it for something else. They can. And so it just makes it an easy little kind of a knob for it to attach to. Now I also used this fringe and tassel maker die. But this is what it looks like. You get this piece here and then you also get this little rectangle piece. Now this main piece, when you cut it out, it looks like this. Now I used it, as you notice on this card, two different ways. I used it as fringe here, and then I also used it to create this tassel. Now the nice thing about this die is that it cuts the, the sides and the top, and then each of these little lines. So if you wanted to just use a rainbow of colors for fringe, you could and you can cut them to whatever size you'd like. This one I cut short, but I also cut it a little bit shorter than the edge of this die. For this little rectangle piece, this is what it die cuts. This is what we're going to use to hold our tassel together. As you can see on this fringe here, this is what I used. I used this glittery one to hold this fringe together. I'm going to be using score tape, double-sided score tape. It's very simple and easy to use, and it works perfectly for holding the tassel together. Now, I am just going to use a couple pieces. I'm gonna turn my tassel over, and I'm gonna use the back side. I'm gonna put just a little bit on each side, because really, you don't need it the whole way. It, it adds a little bit of bulk. So there's just going to be score tape on each end, on the back side. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start rolling this. And even really if you wanted to skip it on this side, you could. It's just giving it a little extra stability. So I'm just going to keep rolling, making sure it all lines up at the top. And then when I get to the end, there's that score tape there to hold it together. Okay, so here it is all rolled up. You can kind of squish it to kind of make it a little bit rounder if you want. And then when you're done, you can always spread these out to make your tassel a little bit uh, fluffier. Now, I'm using cardstock to do this, but you could also use origami paper, tissue paper, I think you could even use really thin leather, although I have not tried that. So our next step now is going to be to wrap the ends together. For this, I'm going to use a little bit thinner score tape. And for this one, I'm going to use this metallic paper. I'm just going to stick that on there. And I'm going to start here where my seam is. Really doesn't matter. And then just wrap it all the way around. I'm going to have to add just a tiny bit of score tape because I started at the wrong end. And that just wraps really nicely. 
Now to get the tassel on, first of all, what I did was I took a piece of twine. This is um, the twine that I'm using, just black twine. I created a loop and then I tied that loop. It doesn't have to be very big because your little knot on your card, on your hat's not very big. Okay, so there's the loop. And what this is for is so that it will attach to your hat like that. And that is why I added that dimension so that it would be able to hold that on there. First of all, I have to decide how long do I want my tassel to be. And then I'm gonna create just a little extra room there. All right, so now to attach the tassel to this twine. The first thing I did was take a glue dot and I just kind of put it on there. You can use liquid glue right away too, but this was just to kind of get it started. And then I put it inside my tassel. I'm going to use the tip of a paintbrush. You could use a pencil, whatever you have on hand, to just kind of push it inside there. And that glue helps it to catch. So right away there you have your, your tassel. Now I'm going to take some glossy accents because it's a nice thick glue. You can also use multi-medium glue. You can use any kind of glue. You could use hot glue if that's what you wanted to use. And I'm just going to squeeze just a little bit of that glue inside there to kind of fill it. And that'll help to hold my tassel in place and inside there so it doesn't fall off. So once you're done, there is your hat with your tassel. And here you can see how I used it on this card. Thank you for joining me today at Jen's Ink Spot. I hope you have a great day.